uh, for the first example, find V1, V2, and I1 and show how much power is delivered to the circuit by the 15 ampere source. So first step, we need to choose the reference voltage. So the obvious choice for this circuit is to choose this bottom node as the reference node. This is the reference node. And then we assign node voltages. So this node right here is common node. We have V1. And this node right here is V2. So buying KCL at node 1. KCL at node 1. Node V1. So remember for convenience. We assign currents going out from the node. Since this current right here is the 15 ampere current source, we will leave this as is. So KCL at node 1, we have negative 15 plus V1 over 60 plus V1 over 15 plus V1 minus V2 over 5 equivalent to 0. So combining uh, similar terms, so we have 17 over 60 V1 minus V2 over 5 equivalent to 15. We have equation 1. Now for equation 2, ECL at node V2 we have what is V1? We have V2 Yeah, the currents. So KCL at V2, we have V2 minus V1 over 5 plus V2 over 2 plus 5 plus 2. So again, combining like terms, we have negative V1 over 5 plus 7 over 10 V2 plus 2 negative 5. So using substitution, using substitution, we have substitution 1. So by using substitution, we can solve V1 and V2. So V1 is the volts. V2 is 10 volts. So what is the value of I1? So I1 is just looking at the figure I1 is just V1 minus V2 all over 5 we have 60 minus 10 over 5. We have 
10 amperes. And how much power is delivered to the circuit by the 15 ampere source? So power at the 15 ampere source is just negative V1 times 15. So we have 60 times 15. We have 900 watts. For example, to find V using nodal analysis. So first, let's assign a reference node. So obviously, node right here is uh, will be our reference node. Then we have our voltages V1 and then V2. Okay, CL at node V1. And this is V1. We have three currents. We have negative 4.5 plus V1 over 1 plus V1 minus V2 all over 6 plus 2 to 0. 9 over 8 V1 minus 1 over 8 V2 plus 2 4 point 5 of equation 1. For equation 2, like ECL at node V2. So for node V2, we have V2. We have three branches. So we have V2 minus V1 over 8 plus V2 over 12 plus V2 minus 30 over Plus two, zero. So for the second equation, we have negative v one over eight plus seven over twenty four v two equivalent to seven point five. And now we have equation one, equation one. And then equation 2. So by substitution, looking at the values of V1 and V2. V1 is just 6 volts, 2 is 18 volts. So how do we get the value of V? So we can apply PVL this loop right here. So let's label this as loop 1. So we need to know the current going to this through this 6 ohm resistor to know the voltage across this.
disable this as v3. Let's label this current here as current i. i is equivalent to v1 minus v2 all over 6 plus 2 is equivalent to negative 1.5 amperes. So now we can apply AVL at loop 1. AVL at loop 1, we have negative V1 plus V3 minus V equivalent to 0. So solving for V, we have V1 minus V3, where V3 is just equivalent to negative 1.5 times 6. So V is equivalent to 15 volts.